Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and today is the last episode of Marimba One Week, so this is the mallet bag from Marimba One. Special thanks to Marimba One for sending me all this gear to review on the show again. It's really nice to be able to see all these things up close and personal for you guys. Thank you, Ron Samuels. Also a shout out to Arias and Denise from Marimba One for checking out my videos. Thank you so much. So the mallet bag from Marimba One is one of the few products that Marimba One makes that isn't a mallet or an instrument. Because it's got the Marimba One name to it, it's priced accordingly and it's 79 US dollars brand new. Now 79 US dollars for stick bags is not unusual, but it definitely puts it towards the higher end of stick bags, so you're expecting this to be a premium product. And one thing that scared me about this bag is, well, it's a foldy bag. And if you remember in one of my previous episodes where I said, I really don't like foldy bags, so hard to get mallets in and out of there because you have to undo the entire zip to open the bag, put them inside, fold it back up, zip it all the way around. For anyone who is new to the channel, a foldy bag is basically a stick bag that opens like this and usually zip it around and you put your mallets in vertically and then you hold it like a rectangle. It's basically a big fajita. And I said I didn't like foldy bags because the mallets touch against each other, because the mallets don't come out very easily. This bag is different. When I received the Marimba One mallet bag, I realized that it is pretty different to your average foldy bag. Start by looking at the shape. It's quite big. When you put it down, you realize just how big it is. It is the size of a backpack. And I think most people who want to use a stick bag that's like a backpack will like this bag very, very much. Now on the front of the bag, you've got the Marimba One logo and you've got this Velcro flap and underneath the Velcro flap are two document pockets. They call these cassetted pockets and you can put A4 documents into here like your music. Here's my music for Merlin. <laughs> These pockets make it practical for everyday use. You can put your music in here, you can put a laptop in here, you can put anything that is big and flat inside these pockets. And they expand pretty far as well, so you should be able to store quite a lot of things in them. Flip the bag around and you'll see that on the back there are two backpack straps, which you can obviously use to carry it as a backpack. There's also this little top handle, which I'm not really a big fan of because it's a really, really thin handle. And yeah, I kind of expected something a little bit more robust. The backpack straps have these little clips on them, which lets you unclip them if you don't want to use it as a backpack. But frankly, if you were to take those backpack straps off, you wouldn't have anything to carry the bag with other than that little handle. So I would probably keep them on. That's all there is on the outside of the bag. There's no ID window, nothing like that. So you get to the zip. And when you go to open it, you realize that there is this big black oversized zip with some rope tied to the end of it, which makes it nice and big and easy to unzip. Now I would have liked it better if there were two zips because a lot of foldy stick bags have two zips so that if you want to open it halfway you can and then it's just really easy you just take the other zip and zip it back up but this one only has one so if the zip fails you're screwed if you want to open it halfway you're screwed and you can't lock the zips if you want to go traveling so yeah I kind of wish there were two zips but anyway you unzip the bag and you realize that there is actually quite a long way to unzip because it's such a big bag and once you've got it open there is a lot of space for mallets Marimba One says that you can hold 18 pairs of mallets in this in an orderly fashion and I assume that means all nice and straight, not really touching each other and keeping the bag nice and flat. But the problem is because it's a foldy bag and because of the way it's designed, if you were to fill it up with mallets and you opened it, the mallets would just fly out of the bag. I don't know what to say. So anyway, to start off with, you've got this flap covering the mallets, which is good for protecting the heads when you're in transit. And it's also good for when you're hanging it on the marimba because then it protects the marimba from the zips. And you get this flap out of the way and you realize that there are seven slots. And I say slots because these slots don't really make sense to me. They're all different sizes. Some can hold two pairs of mallets side by side. Some can only hold one. And it kind of baffles me because I think they were going for the approach where you can keep your individual sets of mallets in their little compartments, but the sizes vary too much and I don't like that I can't really customize the sizes myself to suit what I need. But anyway, there are two rows of seven slots and that's a lot of space for mallets. At the bottom left of the bag, you have the Marimba One logo, which is stitched in, which is nice. And on top of that, you have a business card sized ID window where you can put your identification, your business card or something. I've got a fridge magnet in there for Marimba One. Thanks for sending me fridge magnets, Marimba One. I think a better place for this ID window would have been on the outside because then people can tell straight away 
whose bag it is. The fact that it's on the inside is kind of too little too late. I don't think anyone's gonna unzip the entire bag and say, oh, that's who it belongs to. But it's nice that it's there. Next to the ID window, we have one small pocket which can hold all kinds of things. I've got some earplugs in here, but you could obviously put band-aids, a metronome, moon gel, all that kind of stuff. Those accessories can all go into this pocket. The zipper on this pocket is nothing special. It's just one of those YKK zippers. Yeah, it does the job. On the right of that pocket, there are two pencil holders where you can put your Marimba One pencils. Thanks for sending me pencils, guys. <laughs> and next to the pencils, there's another pocket which you can store even more accessories. And in this pocket, I have some finger guards, which I use for my fingers because my fingers are just really bad shape. I mean, look at that. Ugh. Finally, on top of the bag, there are five things which without them, I would have never ever considered having this bag. These hooks. There are five hooks which are pretty securely mounted onto the bag, which would allow you to hang this bag onto the side of your marimba. And this is my favorite reason to own this bag. It's because it's like a luxury add-on for your marimba one. You know, marimba one accessories with marimba one marimba. You can hook this bag onto the side of your marimba, even if it's not a marimba one marimba. And when it's on the side of my Izzy, I can just have my mallets ready to go. And I can do switches in between performances just by pulling the mallets out, putting them back in. And it's just really convenient having that there. It's a really nice accessory for my marimba. And for that reason, I would buy this bag. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this backpack is really good if you have three purposes for it. First is if you wanna have a backpack and you don't wanna carry a separate backpack for all your books and all your music and all that stuff, you just want one backpack with everything, this bag could do the job. It has a pretty minimal design, so it has that sort of like school bag look, this really minimal black school bag look, which I really like. So if you wanna be really low key and have a backpack that holds your mallets as well as your music, as well as your computer and all that stuff, then this might be the bag for you. Secondly, if you're like me and you want this to be an add-on for your marimba, it's kind of like an accessory that sits on the side of your marimba holding all your mallets. And when you're playing your marimba, no one can see it because it's behind the marimba. It's just a really nice thing to have there. Third is if you wanted to use it to protect your mallets inside check-in luggage. So if you're living in a country, AKA most countries in the world, where they don't let you carry your mallets on board an aircraft, you're gonna be putting your mallets into check-in luggage. And if you put them into this bag first, close it up, put it flat at the bottom of your bag and put some clothes on top or whatever, then it's like an added layer of protection and they won't wiggle around. But that's a very out there reason to be using a stick bag like this. And it's a pretty big investment for that. So maybe not. And I wanna tell you a few things that I think would improve this bag greatly. Firstly, the build quality is not great. Marimba one knows I love them because I love their mallets. And obviously I love their marimba, I have one. But this bag is not up to standard. The material of the entire bag is okay, but it's not really 79 US dollars quality. It's kind of just like the same sort of material you'd expect on a $10 stick bag. It does the job okay. I wouldn't count on it protecting my mallets from a fall. I wouldn't count on it protecting my mallets from water damage. It's just, it's okay. The lining of the inside of the bag is okay. It's not ripstop. It's not any premium sort of nylon. It's just, it's okay. I'm not a fan of the top handle at all. It's really, really thin. It's literally something you could get a pair of scissors and go snip and it'll be gone. The backpack straps, I'm not worried so much about their durability because Marimba One does say that they're reinforced for stress and all that. And they do seem pretty robust with the links and everything, but the straps themselves are super thin. And wearing this for long periods of time would start to get really tiring because there's no gel, nothing like that. The zips, the fact that the main compartment only has one zip, if they had two of those oversized zips, it would be perfect. Two lockable oversized zips would seal the deal and it would make it so much easier to open and close the bag because it's a big bag. Like I don't wanna be drawing an entire circuit of the Nürburgring before I get to open my bag. <laughs> but the embroidered stitching on the Marimba One logo, I really like. The little flap that covers the mallets, I really like. The hooks that hook the bag on the side of a Marimba, I really like those. They don't feel like they're gonna break anytime soon. So if the rest of the bag was just made like that, it'd be great. I'll be frank once again, this bag isn't going to stand up to heavy use. It really isn't. But if it's just chilling on the side of my marimba and it has all my mallets standing upright ready to go on the side of the marimba, that's perfect. Honestly, I think more people would buy this bag if it was built better, like if the materials were padded and if there was some real proper nylon that was like ripstop or something like that, or if the handles were a bit more robust and the straps were padded. Either that has to happen or the price has to go down because it's not a good value proposition right now. And I can't think of anyone who would really want to buy this bag unless they were using it as an accessory or unless they were using it as a backpack. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'd really like to hear what stick bag you use. Let me know in the comments below. 
I love to see what people are using all the time because it gives me ideas. And as always, if you have any suggestions about what you want to see on the channel, let me know in the comments below as well because I'd love to hear from you. And I would really love to see this channel get to 300 subscribers. We're already on 220 something at this moment. Thank you so much for the support. It's really great to see all these percussionists, young and old, commenting on my videos and sharing my stuff. And I feel like I learn more from this than anyone else because I get to hear all these different perspectives from people. It's awesome. By the way, my recital for my Master of Music degree, that's right, my last recital for a long, long time, is going to be next week, live streamed on this channel. Or if you're in Perth, you can check it out on 29th of November, 7 p.m. Callaway Music Auditorium at the UWA School of Music. Otherwise, it'll be live streamed directly to this channel. So you'll be able to see it live online at 7 p.m. Western Australia time. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Studio. I will see you next week. Good night.